Once, a frog and a rat were very good friends. They lived in a tree hole in the middle of the forest, and the frog basin was in a pond next to the forest. Despite being away the two were always one. We met on the way. The friendship of the two was so deep that there was no one in the entire forest who had ever seen them without each other. Both moved together, eat anything, eat together. They shared everything, every joy, and only that. Not in a time of trouble. Everyone was impressed by this unprecedented friendship. Throughout the forest, friendships of fugitives and frogs could be told. Tales of mutual friendship started to be heard in the night. Frog and Rat were overjoyed to hear the popularity of their friendship, after some time they came to the conclusion that they had earned so much fame because of their friendship that they promised each other that they would never separate. Time passed, but the friendship of the frog and the rat did not diminish. As usual, Mendic left his pond early in the morning and began his journey to the rat house, which reached the rat bark half an hour later, I could not wait. After that, the two roamed the forest all day and went to their homes in the evening. One evening, a frog heard the frog near the pond. When he looked up, the frog found the owl sitting on the trunk of the tree. Why did the frog Mian become the enemy of his life? The frog was surprised at the owl's question, so the owl again said, How much do you forget, my husband? You don't know that your friend rat is very clever. I have been watching for a long time, you take a rat's breath from morning to evening and I have never seen him coming into your pond. At first the frog was surprised to hear this. After a while, when he understood the meaning of the case, he hesitantly told Eli, I had never thought of it, nor had I ever had a chance to think. Who is the most faithful friend of the whole forest, my it means. Is not. Say whatever you want, sir, what I saw. It is your job not to understand it further. The owl said to have taken off from the tree branch. That night, the frog heard about an owl that had no sleep. After conducting a reality check, sleep had disappeared. Whatever, Ilo is true, he has told the truth. I always go to Bill to get him a rat. He never comes to my pool. There is no friend like me who has not seen my house till now. As the days pass and his frog's heart grows. He tried to bring the rat to his pond several times by making excuses but the mice refused. Things did not change over time, but Frog's heart was changed. Now Frog was not his friend, but he thought against it in his heart. The rat had to go out with the mouse. Unaware of the rat, the frog tied one end of the wire to its foot and the other end to the rat's tail. Dragging her with me. At first, the rat did not understand what was happening to him. When the frog did not answer questions and objections to his behavior, the rat tried to cut the wire with the help of his arrows but was unsuccessful. Nothing came to hand. For half an hour he kept dragging the rat and without reaching the pond, he said, Our friendship has passed so many years, but you have never come to my pond. I'll take you to my pond today. Without waiting for the rat's response, the frog jumped into the pool, saying this. The rat tried to free itself, but could not drown soon. After the rat's body was washed away, the pool floated to the surface, while the frog did not even look back. Came down, pressed the lifeless rat into its claws and flew towards its nest. The frog could not escape due to the wire tied to the rat's tail and fell into an eagle's nest hanging from the pond in the direction of the sky. Wow, wow, I'll eat today. The frog begged for his life, but he did not refuse and in this way, the frog became the eagle's meal with his dead friend. This story teaches us, dig deep for your enemy, and fall within yourself.